Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, 2019. Fortunately, we're too... It's unfortunate we're too deep today because <laughs> <laughs> no, I got scared. <laughs> I heard my own voice again. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we're, unfortunately, we're too deep today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Mike Medina, he had uh, he had some bad news, so he couldn't join us today. But uh, Grant, what's up? I am here. Oh, man, we got we uh, about well, pff, man, we got a lot of talking about skateboarding because we have to actually catch up. Let's start from last week. Uh, unfortunately, we had streaming problems. Uh, those should be uh, have worked out today. And so everyone should be listening to us crispy and should see us both. There's Grant. There's me. There's Grant. There's me again. <laughs> so um, uh, let's actually t- step back a little bit because there's some stuff on the topics that unfortunately <laughs> – last week's episode, I only recorded five minutes of it. And it well, yeah, let's explain. Yeah. So, so – Drew and I have been testing. We're using Skype now uh, as w- with this other program Drew uses. And uh, tests were fine. Did the show live last week. Apparently, it sounded bad live. But we're like, whatever. Hopefully, it, hopefully it uploads and it's all right. Uh, well, it ended up uploading three minutes. And that was the last three minutes of the show. And half of it, you couldn't hear anything. So you only had we, one we minute show where you could show. listen to something. We did it. Yeah, hopefully today you guys can hear us. We did more tests though, so I think we're good. But yeah, we could we could go to some last. Yeah, week if just you want. a few things. Um, uh, I guess the big thing, uh, uh, a lot of my notes had to do with Frankie Villani. Welcome to Dickies up with the rough cut. Um, I just saw you know a couple of rare sightings, which is I'm starting to see why I like the rough cuts, because mm-hmm. um, like I never see Chad Tim Tim anymore or or Le- or Levi Brown. These guys are skate legends, and uh, Davis Torgerson was skating with them, and so. Uh, I guess the the big thing and Grant, I'm happy that Grant's confirming with my with my, you know, if you want to call it a critical eye or just things that I've noticed is that everyone seems to be skating uh, metal grates into, oh. into things. <laughs> it, you know what? I mean, it, if you asked me about it a few weeks ago, I'd be like, yeah, people skate that. But there, I didn't really realize it until you're pointing out like how much footage it like the past two weeks that we've watched and how much dudes are skating like propping up a grate to like a ledge or over something or whatever it is kind of crazy the new body burial (laughs) (laughs) i i would majorly take you using a grate as a bump over a body burial all right very well so but speaking of frankie and a frankie he did one in this um and i was saying last week i actually i'm not really a fan of body burials but um, he did a really good, like, ollie body barrel on that bump over bar where he, he did it like Cromer where they turn on the way up and their board keeps going up. It wasn't Instagram on the way down last second because that way is trash. It was I'm, I'm just going to float and my board's going to keep going up. And I thought that was tight. Uh, it was cool to see him uh, doing Bennett grinds. And I was actually Ooh. confirming to see. I was like, let me make sure because people have different names for it. Uh, I guess there's another way of looking at it, like Benegrin is a back 180 switch. Backsmith. Yeah, backsmith. Mm-hmm. Or a fakie, or a fakie, uh, fakie <laughs> willy, would you call it that, I guess? Yeah, but yeah, but I don't know why you would say, okay, yeah, if you're, sure. Yeah, I mean, if you're really trying to get nerdish about it. And last week, you were actually giving me uh, a bit of, a bit of uh, grief here because I was said uh, that he did uh, the sexiest sex change over the uh over the bleacher and you said sex change oh. what and i said no it's just sex change and so i guess this is where the generations really come into play here because in the tony hawk era especially when grind sessions came out that's a sex change was known as a kickflip body burial not just a body burial and uh the young blood over here that <laughs> he said sex change what so I thought that was. I did it. You have to say his board flipped. Uh, in my opinion. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Uh, um, another thing that was gnarly is when he decked his filmer. <laughs> oh yeah, Joe Face got hit in the head. Hit in the head. Yeah. No. No bueno. Uh, it was bleeding a lot. Have you? Did you ever? Did you ever got hit in the head filming? Any- yeah, I talked about it. Yeah, I got. I still got the scar. From who? His name is. We call him Data from the Goonies, but his real name is Kevin. Ooh, Kevin, Kevin Nam, 
Kevin Nam. Okay. Kevin Dam. Oh. Kevin Dam. That was it. Well, I feel like a more like a more important question was uh, was he skating a handrail? I feel like that he was that's skating a he was skating a six stair. It's a small six stair at Madison High School, and he just went kabunk. You know, what? I'll actually upload it later today on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, not not well, sick. Your boy got decked up. What the fuck are you talking about? Fuck. I was talking. I was talking about. It's cool that you have the clip, but yeah, that's, yeah, that sucks. yeah, it does suck. Uh, I know you were hyped too. Uh, hyped too. And uh, in Frankie's rough cut, he was in the half cap backsmith on that wall rail, and he mm, he uh, he didn't make it. Well, he got the trick. Minute. but I forgot. He he landed rolled oh, away. Oh yes, on his butt. no 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 no. I, <laughs> I so wasn't hyped up. on the trick. I was hyped on the fact that he fucked up and he wasn't ready for that that backsmith and he. <laughs> This board just, <laughs> he was falling back. It reminded me of another time when I was laughing my my ass off when um, Jamie Foy kicks his fucking leg up in um in Next New Wave where he was sprawled <laughs> out. And I sent you the screenshot. You know what? This is a bad time for me to try and find it. You go ahead and carry on with the show. I'm going to try and find it so people can really understand the stretch. The Foy stretch? Yeah. Uh, okay. Go ahead and talk about Atlantic, uh, Atlantic Drift a little bit. Episode 9, yeah, yeah. Athens. But it was actually yes. um where they film it again I forget ooh, uh, well in Athens no no but where is Athens in Greece all right take it away as I look for the Jamie right. Ford yeah, yeah. spread <laughs> okay yeah so episode nine Atlantic Drift we haven't had an Atlantic Drift in a minute so I was psyched on this um to me always probably always a standout dude is Tom Knox uh, he's one of my favorites and he's kind of like when I think of Atlantic Drift he's definitely one of the first dudes that comes to mind um. Killed it. Just skate. They always just skate like cool, random looking stuff. Like he skated some shootout ledges that were super close to the wall, like a back to back one eighty that was super red. Um, last week when we had Mike on here and the show didn't work, whatever. Mike was super psyched. Uh, Remy Taviara, I believe is his last name. He did a crazy downhill line, like back three on, into some super crust, and then back grinded a ledge, like going down a hill, which was tight. Um, but yeah, again, I think the reason I love this series is like. The dude Jacob Elliott Harris that does it just I think he films it super cool and the music's always rad the cool intros with like the slow-mo on the faces usually and it's just cool that they go different places and I think Bobbit showing uh, the spots and I guess a little bit of the culture of where they are which is rad. Uh, my favorite dude in it was probably, I mean, I already mentioned Tom Knox, him and Kyron, both those dudes I love to watch. Kyron's super cool. I haven't mentioned him yet. He, uh, just skates fast and like super flowy. Cool to watch. I did a, I think it was in, I did like a, a cool front. I, I like watching him skate a lot. So what's up? Yep. Yeah, I'll send it over to you. Um, I, I want to talk about um, Mike Arnold. Fucking Mike Arnold is the truth in that Atlantic Drift. Trey flipped the back 50. Grant, with his critical eye, noticed that he didn't fully stay in there. You know, he got a little, kind of went into feeble a little bit. Nobody cares about that bullshit because when he hit that ledge, um, oh, yeah, and he did the, the shitty nollie heel in front of everybody. Did you notice people were holding hands when he did that? Did, he, did you notice that? No, I don't remember. He had a whole that. group of people. You missed it? I thought it was interesting. I don't remember that right maybe, now. Maybe know. they just roll around like that. Maybe everyone just makes sure that they don't lose people. Maybe at... But you're talking like bystanders on the street? Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, yeah. There was a bunch of them holding hands in the background? Uh, Yeah, right after. They were the closest people right when you did that crappy nollie heel. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't pick up on that. I remember you were tripping on how we got smoked on that switch heel going downhill after that line. Oh, man. <laughs> kick the lens and then it like the, spazzed well, the out the best part about it is when <laughs> he hesitated he said i probably shouldn't try this but i thought i've already it. thought about it i'm kind of already at the end of my line let's go ahead and put a cherry on top let's just end it by sending it by the switch heel <laughs> and boy the only thing he sent was his face on the pavement poor guy did you find the photo or not i'm not seeing it in our oh, text so this we'll bothers me this bothers me I don't know how. Did you how look in the skate fillet? It to me, I'll check okay. that as well. Yeah, we'll that's probably continue. where it's at. Um, yeah. Qu uh, quick shout out to Cairo Foster in the um, in Thrasher uh, Thrasher's website in the Facebook comments. He put hashtag Atlantic, Atlantic Drift again and again up there with St. Paul's episode. So 
n- rad to see him give out some love, and we'll show the same amount of love by um, promoting that th- they have this apparel called. Um, you can find it at Atlantic Drift Mon dot com. That's M O N dot com. Um, as we mentioned last week, but you guys didn't listen to us because our show sucks. Is a <laughs> simple graphic with the fishy with uh, he was skiing with Atlantic Drift on his body is rad. Uh, they have other beautiful T-shirts, but uh, you have to worry about the exchange rate. Um, I didn't look at the current exchange rate. It's probably the same. Uh, they sell their stuff in pounds, so one pound sterling equals $1.29. So if you want to do the math, go ahead and buy yourself some Atlantic Drift uh, apparel. That's AtlanticDriftMon.com. But let's go ahead and talk about this week. No, wait. Jump in the gun here. Forgot about X Games. You thought I forgot, huh? You thing. thought I forgot about X Games, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say it. We should probably talk yeah, about it. Yeah, I agree. Um so X Games let's real see street. If you can remember everybody, because they're not in my notes. So there's Jamie Foy, Deshaun Jordan. Don't forget about your boy Chase Webb. Um ooh, uh Mason Silva is his name? So yes. Um yes. this is all by memory. Uh boy. You're doing good. I'm doing good. You want me to help good. you? But I'm forgetting. There's Chris Jocelyn, Robbie Brockle, yep. um, Trevor yes. McClung, Taylor Kirby. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is that everybody? I think that's it. I feel like we're missing a lone soldier. Oh, Corey Glick. Corey Glick. Okay. That's everyone. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's talk about the judging first. Because the judging, as I mentioned, it's kind of interesting because... Um, they talked about it was uh, the two pros and the filmer. The pro, uh, the filmer. You have to help me out again. It's not. It's not Manzuri, right? Who is it? No, Manzuri's filming. He filmed curses. Uh, shoot, who was it? I don't. I watched that video, but I can't remember. <laughs> was it? Oh, was it Eric Mesa? Mesa? Was Eric thank Mesa. you, Mesa. Uh, real quick, did you find the photo? No, that thing's God gone. Damn it! That bothers me. <laughs> I'm gonna find it somewhere between the show. The people need to see it. People want to see. We can the put big it on boy. The, on the no, no, no. Instagram. People need to see the big boy it's foy great. spread. He's. I'm saying we can post it. No, I'm not posting. I'm gonna find it during the show. I'm gonna find that thing. I'm gonna oh. screenshot it mid show. I'm actually googling it right now as I talk about the interesting parts of um of the judging with X Games. Now this is here. Here's the kicker here. So Aaron Meza was saying that he's going to look at it from a filmer's perspective. All right, so what does that mean? So what so you're actually going to be judging based off of how people people film the video part. You have no control of that though. And your what was your response to that? I forget. My reaction to that is I mean, the the skater and the filmer get a medal. They both get X Games medal. So the filmer should be judged. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and judge them. It's a part of it, and a video part has a lot to uh, the way it's put together. So I, I I hear your point, but overall I agree with Mesa. If the if the filmer's getting a medal, then the filmer should be judged as well. And to speak to the point of the escape order, they all choose who they want their filmer to be. So they need to make a wise decision. Let's play devil's advocate, Grant. So let's say that there was a gentleman that filmed it, and he's like, all right. I'm going to go long. Mesa said it should have been done fish. Well, let's go even deeper. Let's say I don't like the way he didn't white balance it correctly. He used the yellow balance Jerry Sue shit. Or let's say that he didn't like the angle. Come on, really? Like what the What if his stomach hurt? He couldn't get on the fence. Like come on. Get... I hear you, but I would imagine you could be right. Maybe that maybe that's the way Mesa's looking at it. I would imagine it's more so like he wants it to be a little different, maybe like some sort of just just add a little flavor to it. We're, we want to get creative. Than... What about post editing? I mean, are they going to judge? Remember when uh, Chase Webb, when he first starts, he like he elevators up with that noise. So yeah. are we going to oh, we're going to give him five more points. Oh, yeah. We like the elevator graphic. Oh, here comes big boy. Big boy. Foy. <laughs> you didn't have no elevator. Let's dock five points. Shut the fuck up. No one wants to hear that bullshit. <laughs> Oh, All right, now let's play devil's advocate even further. Because you got Chad Muska says, yeah, I typically don't judge this type of shit, but uh, 
I'm, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting paid. <laughs> I'm here to I'm here to make my own money. No thoughts on that, or you just we're we're not gonna play or hate the Muska, right? No, Muska do his thing. I would imagine having Muska and Chris Cole as the two skaters judging. They want to see Buck. Like I don't. I'm sure obviously those dudes appreciate all kinds of skateboarding. But just those two dudes, I would imagine they want to see dudes really get down and hug and skate a big rail and stuff. Now, I know you voted for Deshaun Jordan. Much respect to that. But who do you think is going to – did they announce a winner? No, not yet. It has to be within the next few days because I think it's only up for today. So who who nailed it? Who had the gnarliest part? Who's going to win it if you, had, if you were a betting man? If I was betting, I'm picking either Jamie or Deshaun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are we talking judges pick? I'm saying judges are going to pick Jamie, Deshaun, or Chase. I'm saying, sorry, you want one. Judges are going to pick Foy. Van, the fans voting are either going to pick Foy or Deshaun. I don't know. One of them. I think it's the big boy show. I think Foy. Foy's Foy, taking it. Foy's taking it. You just. Why? Did Why? you not? See, do you have eyes? Like, did you not see? I'm not disagreeing. I, I just want to hear your reasons. Grant, it's as simple as watching the fucking video part. Jesus Christ, you you don't you don't need a fucking long spreadsheet of data. That says, Shut the, what kind of bullshit? Use your fucking eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Just open, Yo, switch front open crook. your eyes. Yo, switch front crook, fakey heel on the ledge, kickflip, front side crook on that. <laughs> on Bricktown, oh guys, that what they call it? It's called Fucktown now because he fucking murdered it. <laughs> Yo, he the way he gets into his tricks on rails, like he he lands in that kickflip front crook, and he get the way he gets into it, it, it's like there's some sort of pressure that just bounces him out of it. And like it's, people it's don't like pop magnet. out of tricks there's like that. There's a magnet when that kickflip catches his foot. It's yes, he flips in so perfect. Hammer time. I'd say out of out of all the parts, his was the one towards the end where I was like, wow, this is getting like really buck like. It felt like a real, not these aren't real video parts, but they're short. They're a minute. Jamie's towards the end was like, it's it's hammer time. Like, he's really getting down. He fakey 5 0 Maryland's 14. I would assume off the top of my head that has to be the biggest fakey 5 0. He went in. Yep, that's why. Um, hey, Chase Webb is up there, though. Absolutely. Chase. Chase, yes. Chase. Can't get enough of his fucking style. I can't. I wish, I wish it was longer, but. Do the restrictions and whatever. I mean, you know, more, more, more footage doesn't necessarily mean a better part, but he still wants me wanting more. That's what I mean by that. That's, That's all. Good. I mean. Um. That's good. His feeble around that curved rail, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's a. It, other than five zero, is there anything else that's been done on that? Back fit the board slide, and I think that's it. Cool. What, what do you think is gnarly? Is five zero? Yeah. Oh yeah. Five. Yeah. Five. Five zero. Five zero. The, the, the only thing that's going to top that is a crazy, is a front though. is a front truck grind. Well, uh, Jamie is regular. Uh, switch for a crook, Jamie. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, let's. Uh, yeah. Hey, crazy though. I wanted to mention uh, Deshaun's first clip is a ollie over a flat gap, and then there's like two handicap rails, and he seriously floats, and it looks so mellow. But uh, De- Joseph Nicholas filmed Deshaun's part, and he posted ollie. And when you see the attempts, it's just like like when we talk about rough cuts, like it gives you appreciation. He he was going so fast, and that's the type of thing like. When you're going that fast, all that long of a gap with two rails in the middle of it, like you cannot hesitate. That is so early. That is so early. Earlier in the segment, you said that you don't like to see video parts end on an ollie. <laughs> now, who had a who had an ollie? Was it was it in this segment we're talking about? Deshaun's opener was an ollie. No, I'm talking about an ender. I know that. I don't remember an, an an ollie as an ender for any of these. Okay, very well. Uh, did you want to go into this this week's topics? Because I feel like we uh, killed it on the other ones. Uh, I mentioned from last week, real quick. Raven Terche has been officially welcomed to Nike. Um, well, actually, they didn't really do a welcome. He was just like all of a sudden they started posting him, which means he's on. 
uh, for him. Everyone's on a budget. That's how you get welcomed. Hit him up on Instagram. Adam, cool. He's on the team. Fuck it. Yeah. Don't even. It would be cool to see like. Yeah, I I would love for Nike to do it. They have. They got. They're stacking up the real tranny rippers. They need to send him. GT Don. And uh, who was the one other dude I was talking about that they should send? Oh, Oski. Those four need to go on a trip. Nike needs to send them, do their thing in the train, kill some pools, and they would really have such a good edit. They need to do it. <laughs> I'm so hyped to see this. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, let's see. So, just so everyone knows, what, what Drew was so hyped to talk about right now is Jamie Foy and his next new wave. This is the greatest I thing it's ever to happen in the world. This is the greatest thing to ever be it's witnessed. He grinds a rail that's so long and gaps out into the street, but he either misses the lock or, like, slips out. <laughs> and Drew, <laughs> Drew has loved it since the day this part came out. And Jamie has to jump over the know, rail. How long has it been? So Two years? Yeah, at least. Yeah, still going strong. Two or three. Still happening. From 2017, uh, 2017, I can still see you right in front of my face. Yeah, it might, it might have been 2016. I bet it was 2016. It was, because he won so... Yeah, he, it was 2016. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Jamie somehow just dodged getting smoked, but I wouldn't be surprised if his hamstring or something was kind of sore after <laughs> after this crazy leg kick Drew's going to show us here in a minute. Um, as far as moving the show along to this week, uh, Jaco went pro for Element, which I'm psyched on because... To me, he was one of the standout parts in peace. Um, and he came through with, last week we, we talked about this actually, the uh, ever so dying uh, pro part. Jaco came through with one, which is tight. I think it's rad. It's a cool way to um, announce someone getting aboard. And as far as for the brand. This week? All right, great. So um, before yeah. we get in there, though, your boy, your oh, boy, yeah, your boy's we go ready. To this week, your, we're going to go your, back your, three your, years. Your boy's ready. We're going to go back three years. Okay, let's see it, Drew. Pop this up on the screen. Okay, well, you know what? I didn't put our mics hooked up to it yet, but, um, I mean, they saw it. Oh, okay. So it was on the screen. Yeah, it was on the screen. So we'll just pop it up real quick. They can't hear us. They kick <laughs> drew is so hey, hyped hey, on yeah of course i was hyped on that all right let's go oh, what let's go into the meat potatoes post? forget about all okay. the bullshit that happened last week forget about all the the uh technical errors even forget about the high jump kick that jamie that uh jamie foy did we're going to talk about this week um as grant already mentioned we're talking about uh jocko jocko turned pro and uh actually let's actually talk a little bit about that you know grant did you do you ever watch the uh, the pro party and the photos? I asked you when Alexis turned pro, but did you happen to watch Jocko's photos? No, I didn't look at the photos. Just watch the part. Well, you know what? You missed out on something. Because Joseph Scott Jada, did, he poured beer on his face. He gave no fucks about it, though, right? Like he's In the caption, it says like he's, it's too hot. He's trying to cool down or some bullshit like that. But when you, <laughs> he pours the beer on his face, it's honestly like... He has his eyes open. He's not phased by it. And it's just, it's a really rad photo. Some small, some I really like. So I'm hyped on it. I'm talking about it on the damn podcast. So if you guys are like, where's the kickflip back tail? There's a beer in your eyes. Next. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about the, uh, the Jocko's part. part. Uh, I got to, I Dude. grant, I, I stressed this last week. I'm going to stress it again. Overuse some B-roll footage. I hate to talk about it. Oh, really? On this part, it's too much, huh? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Know, I didn't stand out to me on this part personally. Oh, well, uh, I just don't remember I mean, a bunch. I of I mean, I I know what the guy looks like. You don't need to zoom in on his face. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I hear you though. I hear you. That's your only complaint. I mean, yeah. I mean, how can you hate a guy that sits down with the locals as you're trying to do a back tail? And uh, you even give him daps. But you know what's fucked up, though, Grant? When he did the trick, they didn't cheer for him. Where, where's the daps? Uh, they were where's the daps? They're being respectful. Keep Keeping quiet after for the clip. No one knows about that bullshit when you're <laughs> local. When you're out there. I just, whatever. I, 
another little gripe of mine, but some I noticed. Yeah. Ch- Dude, he killed China Banks. He he killed Third and Army. I know. Yo, I, you know how crazy it is how fast you have to go to all the all those gaps and then skate the ledge at the no, end? No, I don't. I don't know how fast you have to go. He must have been going so fast for the ollie up, the first ollie up. He had to have, yeah, because because and, but, you have to. You also have to realize that he he wasn't pushing to get the momentum for the others. Yeah, yeah it's just ollie, ollie, ollie. So he what he did five ollies or four? Well, four or five. And but then that last ledge, it's not a super far gap out, but that last ledge you have to gap out a little bit. Like you can't be going slow to skate that last ledge. Back five oh went like back one eighty out. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dude, but China Banks, seriously, like the very old goes back. What are we talking about China Banks for? We ain't even done with their an army. Because you okay, gotta remember, right. Grants, Jocko and Franz. Remember his friend? Yeah, his friend named Brandon Westgate? <laughs> Back, back Smith from the flat? <laughs> what the fuck? I know, that's so gnarly. So gnarly. Right, I'm done with Third and Army. Go ahead. All right. I, I have to mention China Banks because having been to China Banks, it's, I understand like that's a cool spot, but the fact that people skate it and really get tricks on it is crazy to me. It's definitely one of those spots where you're like, all right, this is cool. Like, whatever. You can maybe have some fun, but it's still hard to skate. But it's crazy that he goes and back tills that top thing. And he goes, carves over the ledge and does a varial flip. Uh, that thing mm-hmm. is so steep. That makes literally no sense. You would, no one, Jaco's probably only dude to ever go there and even have that trick come into his brain. Because that is crazy. Right. That doesn't, that shouldn't yeah, work. Yeah, that varial flip out was, yeah, I agree. That stood, that stood out to me as well. Didn't make it on the notes, but it stood out. I have one other trick on my notes for Jaco. He skates the famous, the infamous three up, three down in SF. He skated his own way. No one had never seen anyone skate it like this. Front crook on the third one as a ledge and then pops up. And then does the trick off. Was so sick. I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to say, oh, that's sick. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I need to go back and watch that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you notice that when he does that, uh... All right. yeah, it's his part where he... Um... He does a a fifty fifty on a on a straight rail gaps out fifty fifty gaps out fifty fifty shove out black rail. Yeah. Do you do you recall that? I do. Yeah. The only other guy I see doing shove outs is Jamie Foy on grinds, and I don't. the The odd thing is it's a circle rail, so when you're gapping out, you got to make sure you have that 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 cross lock. <laughs> How you gonna? <laughs> that's, I don't. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think it was like literally on Tony Hawk Pro Skater. You grinded it, and you really had a balance in the middle. <laughs> in the middle of your truck. <laughs> you <had a> ba- <laughs> Could you imagine how that crazy that would feel? You got to have those Grant's knees. Remember when you were dancing? You got to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So you don't know. No. You gotta go with a Grant to a wedding party when the hit when he hits the <laughs> dance floor. Would you call him? You gotta hit him with the knees. You said it. I didn't know if you had a you funny name it. for it. Hit him with the knees. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's that's all I got for that. Uh, anything else before we move on to um, Clive Dixon? We can go to the My War, Clive Dixon. All right, we gotta go to the My War. Um, this was uh, an association. The clip that was used in the Birdhouse Beautiful Mutants. And uh, also, that was another one of our topics. Uh, but we want to highlight the My War because it was a segment that's highlighting the, the water tower. Um, one rail, one water tower on top of another towers it and connects through a stair set that is connected via handrails. Now, uh, I told Grant this, and I'm not going to deviate. Um, it's I think it's common knowledge for anyone that watched that sees a water tower and skateboarding's involved, when they're not thinking of Warner Brothers, they're going to be thinking of Jeremy fucking Ray. I mean, Jeremy Ray, when he ollie from water tower to water tower, I love the homage and I like the mention that they that they, they, they said in, their, in the caption, Clive harkens to the days of Jeremy Ray, Jeremy Ray atop of a water tower. It doesn't get, so much, doesn't get much heavier than this, dot, dot. Well, Thrasher kind of does. And that's called Jamie Ray's Ollie. Now, <laughs> I don't want to take anything for Clive, but I stress it's different when you're actually sliding on something that connects 
than, you know, you literally being in the air from your life's end. Am I saying there's yes. nothing about it? Anything involved with heights is. I mean, Lord of mercy, I'm on the fourth floor in my office right here. Of course it's scary. There's a long way down. <laughs> but, look, I imagine, and I stress this, I feel sorry for Clive because I don't feel like I'm the only one that feels this way. They're going to say... It doesn't look that gnarly, unfortunately. Now, I'm sure if you're there doing it in person with a GoPro and you you know, you know actually see the severity of your board falling down, other than that, Jeremy Ray's is – you can't – I can't. I wouldn't really – I'm the comparing the two because they both evolve a water tower. <laughs> but yeah. I get it. I mean, whoever filmed it from down low who had to get that center angle – I, bl- I tr- trust me, Clive. I can't fucking do it. So if you try and challenge me, I'm going to say fuck you. It's a, it's, a gnar- <laughs> it's a gnarly fucking board slide. It just doesn't translate through camera. That's all I'm saying. Grant, I'd yeah. like to hear your thoughts. No, that makes sense. I think um, to me it's like definitely the hardest thing for him you could tell was just rolling away. It was that uphill landing, uh, the crazy just landing on that thin metal and whatever. At the end of the day, of course, it's so gnarly. I don't. Of course, we're not taking away from the gnarliness. Um, but if it was a good a sixteen stair rail with a, a good roll away, Clive Dixon would board side at first try. And that to me, maybe in our head and comparing it to Jeremy Ray's, like there's really wasn't. I understand your brain will play tricks. Like you would be so nervous. I'm sure Clive was scared to t- jump on the first board side, but there's no way Clive is going to bail the board side and fall over to drop down off this water tower not that anyone wants to see that but that's what would make it scary and jeremy rays that is actually pretty possible alling a flat gap a super long flat gap where there is speaking of hesitation i was talking about deshaun jordan's ollie jeremy ray you cannot hesitate alling water tower to water tower when you're that far off the ground not that you can hesitate on the board side but it's just if we're comparing him, yeah, I think Jamie Ray's is gnarlier. Um, Clive definitely worked for it. He actually worked for it more than I would have anticipated him to because I didn't know that the rollaway sucked. Um, I didn't know he had to drive there four times. He only skated it once, but he went and checked it out and whatever. Um, and they cut that other rail off, which was crazy. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts. But Drew, actually, when he stood on the stairs and threw that rock to test the test the landing, you remember that? No, I don't. And you're 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 showing you're showing me things that I was not aware of. You're telling me okay, that I, don't know I didn't know he drove four times. I didn't know he cut rails. Yes. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, I just thought he picked up a couple people over there at Thrasher's. Says I got a tower, and they said, "What the fuck are you talking about? A tower?" All right. Did you watch the My War? Or you just watched the the May? <laughs> I watched the uh, I watched the My War, and then I got over it pretty quickly. Okay. I was like, well, I, um, but I do, uh, I do understand the emphasis of uh, height of really highlighting the uphill landing and showing that there was difficulty yeah. to it. The trick might not yeah, have been totally. difficult, but with the with the mayhem, everything involved with you skating such a high water tower or a high obstacle, um, yeah, and the downhill uh, uphill landing. I'm sorry, uh, I could see why it's not easy to get. But yes, but I, I want to hear your no. thoughts on this. No, go ahead. Yeah, hear me. Go ahead. Ask me. So he he. I don't think they showed footage, but he talked about it. He said he grabbed like a, a pretty big rock, like a pretty heavy rock, and he th- dropped it from one of the stairs onto the landing because they wanted to see if it was strong enough. Like they wanted to make sure it wasn't going to break through. Which I understand you'd want to make sure you're not going to break through, but at the same time, like you could have just weakened your landing. <laughs> Like, that's kind of sketchy. So let me see if I understand this. He threw a rock at the top of the landing? No, no, no. Uh, well, the landing where the handrail ends, he stood on one of the stairs and, like, dropped it to make sure that it wouldn't just cave in right then. But I, I don't – like, I understand it, but at the same time, it's like maybe you just made it way weaker. Or what if the rock broke it, then the whole roof fell off? The- <laughs> 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 that would have sucked. Hey, well, you know what? You got to take those risks, I guess. You know, if you – yeah, I, you yeah. know what? Grant, I would probably have been dumb enough to have board slid and just bodied myself to death. Skateboarder dives from skating on top of water because the fucking rust and he killed himself. So, you know what? Props to him. Someone, whoever, if he came up with that idea or somebody came up with that idea, 
good idea. Uh, you know what I probably would have done? Maybe because I don't know. I don't look at shit like this. You know, I'm not worried about sports lying on top of towers. But maybe, maybe what it came to my mind, I, I don't. Maybe a rock would have been a good idea, or I would have had like a bunch of. Uh, so between five friends, you have at least over 500 pounds combined. I would have just had all of us jump on jump into the single spot at the same time. Yeah. So if you really, so if you're, how much do you weigh? Like a buck fifty, a buck forty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So between me and you, we're about three hundred pounds. So if we get Billy, maybe <laughs> maybe we even get it. Josh would probably probably increase the weight because he's so skinny. Um, probably get Jake. I mean, we could borrow Keaton for a little bit. You have like seven hundred and fifty pounds right there. <laughs> so we just. You want to test it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's probably okay. what I would have done. I don't know how yeah. big that rock is. Anyways, yeah, there's my I thoughts. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, you know what I want to hear you talk about? I, was, I love that you love Johan Stuckey. Oh, please. I love that you love him. Please. As I wouldn't, wouldn't. But so you think that I only like skateboarders that are light skinned Hispanic like myself, that are good at the switch front side heels, that ride for Prince Squad, no, no, that no, don't no, wear no. anything hash. That don't have high waters. What do you? What do you? Uh, th- yeah, what type part. of skateboard do you think that appeals to Andrew? Other than Pira, Andrew skateboarder is someone that that's gnarly. You're pretty open to people would make fun of. Like you, you just want to see crazy tricks. Interesting. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say I just want to see crazy tricks. And I'll I'll, I'll give you an example here. So I. And I'm not just saying this because he's a friend of mine. Uh, So if you want to... So I like skateboarders such as Billy Jackson and Alexis Ramirez. Guys that can... Billy Billy skates. He's a... He's an over... He'll skate anything. He could skate a rail. He could skate a gap. He could skate stairs when he's... You know, when he feels like it. Um, but also, I also appreciate somebody like, ooh, who's some, oh, I can't remember his name. Um, remember that brand called Heroin Skateboards? Who was the last, who's the last video part? I'm sure somebody in the chat remembers. But he has like this creative style. I mean like Richie Jackson. <laughs> That's funny. Billy Jackson, Richie Jackson, best two combined. Uh, so it doesn't have to be. The gnarliest, craziest skateboarder, Grant. So, Joe Johan, he okay. is an expert in uh, a lot of grinding. I could see he um every now and then, oh Frankie Valli was also a good probably a good uh, um a better example I could have used is that his his style of skating is you know he'll do like a he'll do a foot plant he'll do a wall ride he'll he'll do a uh, he'll he'll do simple tricks on chain link fences so it's not it it really it. What would have really matters to me, Grant? It's not really gnarly skateboarding; it's style and trick selection. But don't get me wrong. Okay, Paul's the best skateboarder live. So <laughs> I knew you're gonna have to just, say it. You know. What I forget? Jod is alive. Help. What do you mean? I, I don't. I don't see where you're going Gating. with this. I'm. I'm kind of. Uh, I mean, I'm slightly. Just... I'm slightly confused here. Were you saying that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to which is cool. I love that because I like. Barely expected. Together, uh, we got to watch your reaction to it as well, which was pretty rad. Um. So yeah, what would you? Th- oh, well, I mean, what's not what's not there to be psyched on? I mean, he's it was a his uh, his thirteen going on thirty video part is the one that we're talking about. Is it was a birthday video and it showed. Uh, uh, wait, what, what what are you talking about? Oh, you, oh, I mean, oh, oh, the rough cut, Grant. I missed it. Sorry. Time. You we? Uh, no, we. Oh, we did. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm confused because. I remember we watched it that night, but this morning, 
just as a refresher, I watched the 13 going on 30. I watched that one. Oh, Let's talk about you're giving me Ruka. some bullshit because I can't remember a video part that I watched. No, I'm just you saying you watched it a you week said ago. Two ago. Okay, dude, two, dude. Look, look, you're look, you're two day two days ago is a week ago for me. There's not much that goes <laughs> okay. on in my life. So all right. Fair enough. But the last spot you don't remember Joe and focusing all those bullshit. Usually when and I see someone free skateboarding can be annoying and frustrating. And your boards, I see someone freaking out. I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't care. Look the other way. But Johan getting mad really, really doesn't bug me. It's just, I don't know why. Like him getting mad. You know what? Now, now I'm starting to and what remember. I did like. But please continue. You got a, You got a good steamboat going. More than any other, at least that I remember. Is they'll show him try a trick, the trick, another session, different spot, different day, and then later, or he like that from uh, for the, the uh, uh, back five zero grind to fakey on that again propped up metal. Uh, Um, so it was cool. Just this, yeah, great. It was cool. Those were spread throughout the rough cut. Um, and in my opinion, one of the fun funniest, it's one of the funniest people in skateboard making fun of Johan as Johan and Grant is still down to make fun of him. Well, you, well, what you said right yeah. there is true, but not it. It's. I think it's amazing that he doesn't get pissed at Grant. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, they're just. They're but cool I'm wondering. I'm that. curious if Grant has, if Joanne has that relationship with all filmers, or do you think you think is you think is that special? Because maybe 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 I you're think, right. The same crew for so long. It just seems like they all. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, I mean, make this one and stuff. As, as Johan's rolling up, like, like about to try this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he made it, that would have sucked. You could switch the audio. It's just funny. It's just funny. Yeah, no. And I love. You could really see the emotion when he acting a fakey on that planner thing. He rolls away, and they're all. Hyped and then Grant's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's no, but he, he, but it's on the contrary. But when he was trying to, he was wanting uh, Johan to land it. He said, "I don't want to come back to the spot. Please yeah. land it." Yeah, he's like, "I hate coming to Rome. <laughs> it's getting so bummed." Yeah, I it's starting, oh. I'm starting to remember quite a bit. Yeah. Wait. So, Drew, can you can you oh, fill yeah. me in? I haven't watched it. Yet. Is it like? Yeah, it's a it's a best of combination of all of the stuff from when he was thirteen years old to now his his birthday, uh, him being thirty shows up uh, all his video parts, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I I really enjoyed to see a lot of skateboarding that I wasn't aware of. I was aware of who Joanne Stuckey was, but I didn't know who Joanne Stuckey was. If that makes sense. I didn't. I wasn't familiar with the skateboarding. Uh, I remember I'd see a weekend Taj where he does a, a kickflip back Smith on that famous um, stair set gap to uh, gap to ledge. Things buck. Johan's a buck guy. It was funny to see like a young Johan. <laughs> He's that guy gives no fucks about his body. It almost seems like he he must have that much confidence in his skateboarding. Or he's that dumb. I mean, yeah, that was pretty apparent. Cut like him, and he's just like every try. He's trying to land every single one, and if he, it's like he was getting. Time, but that, those little slams, like they add up. Yep. Yeah. But to the hip. <laughs> 
I mean, I don't have much else to say. I mean, people are familiar with his style of skateboarding. You know, it's a lot of grinds, a lot of uh, a lot of skating on planters. What else does he do? You know, you know, oddly, oddly enough, he House. has a really good, impressive frontside flip. He doesn't look like a guy that would have a, a clean frontside flip in his arsenal. Honestly, I'll have to send you some stuff. Um. Well, what do you want to go about now? I mean, I know we were going to talk about the Birdhouse Beautiful Mutants video, but uh, from what I understand that they, they have released several parts um, on Thrasher, but now they finally put the whole thing out. So did you want to, did you want to really dissect it? Yeah, I, I didn't watch the whole thing. Uh, either way, to me, what do you remember what you watched? Yeah, I watched um, this guy named Sales. Um, what's his, well, what's his first name? Damn it, we were just talking about him at Slappy's. Sales? Pretty sure it's Sales. Sean Sales? Sales? Sean Hale. I was say that. Is it Hale? I, I, I hate that Roman numeral, that old school, old English font, because they may look like Sales. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I watched Sean's too. It was actually... Out of, um, he's probably my favorite dude on Birdhouse. On any of those dudes on Birdhouse that much? Are we are we gonna talk about that he's that you like him more than Ben Rayborn or or Clint Peterson? Clint Walker. Yeah, out of people. Which is him. Jesus, I'm, I'm just in. keep yeah. Is your name Grant Fyro? Like I just keep saying everybody's name wrong. <laughs> you can't say names. <laughs> it's weird. Ever like go up on his nose and start and go in fakey. The pool was so nuts. I don't know. How, he's definitely someone that teams could create at all, and skates pretty creative, gnarly stuff. You know, I was mixing him up with uh, with the guy that I watched first. I never seen this guy before, and I'll have to look him up just to verify. Uh, Sean cut his hair, and I was like, "Why are they showing two different people?" But it was the same guy. <laughs> yeah, no, they do. I, you know, what I enjoyed was his. Uh, he he goes. I think it's his ender where he goes down the bank and he does a blunt slide. And back down to the bank. It was a really steep one. Jesus Christ! Like there was, like at first I was like, mm, I wish, yeah. I wish he flipped into it. And I was like, you're an idiot, Drew. Like, look, he's literally going down a bank with speed on it, and he's gonna land. You're fucking dumb. Like I got pissed at myself. I've never been pissed about myself <laughs> at watching a video part before. <laughs> That's funny. That's. Uh... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, you know what? I'm not indifferent because they're the they they had well, it's not the first one because they had feasters and ravers. Then they had the end, right? And the end. Mm -hmm. They had the end, and then they had the beginning. How about they have the middle? Another video in between. In between, but to be called the middle or the center. Don't <laughs> or the uh, or the outro or the bonus section. I'm I'm not indifferent. I'm just difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Remember no, I don't. what he looked like, but I liked his board graphic. It was a bunch of polka dots. And I was like, wow, this guy's name is Ball. That's interesting. That's a really, like, I don't want to say pleasing name because people are going to think like, oh, Andrew likes balls. Like, Jesus Christ, like, get out of high school already. I just like that it's a simple name. 
and it, it just looks aesthetically it looks pleasing on a board matte ball it's a short four letter name short four letter last name now let's see who's on the team Ooh, they do have a team page okay so his name has to be elliot salone Sean Hill, Clive no, that's a Dixon, vert skater. David Loy. It's not him. I know who Brent Rayborn is. I know who Aaron Jaws Hamoki is. I know who Lizzie Armanto is. It's none of these guys. I actually have to go to Thrasher. I have to go to... Hell, God. I like this part. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to look him up and see if this is the guy that you... Uh, if you happen to know him. Uh, did you, but you know, I did met they, in this video, they also introduced Ed Duff. Ed Duff used to ride for zero. And I remember him, he used to, he had a shared, I don't know if you want to call it shared. He just happened to sneak his way into half, into the middle of Chris Cole's video part in the Cold War video. So would you say it's a shared part? Or would you say he just, would you, I, I guess. say shared clips. I don't, I mean. If, mm, I, damn, shared clips. Shared, I don't remember how many clips. Yeah, he had, had but you're making it sound like clips. only a few. His his uh hammer was the kickflip board slide. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I didn't know Ed Duff was a. Uh... You know what's so funny is I even know his name. This really is cool about skateboarding is when you really know somebody based off their skateboarding, and he has this unique style where the how he bends his knees. And I was like, I've seen this guy before. I swear to God. Where have I seen him? Oh, yeah. He landed that kick football in Hollywood. Kick football board. Oh, okay. So he's on Birdhouse. I was think I was going to ask you, do you feel like he's a good fit? To me, he fits Birdhouse. And I think he's, I don't know how long. It um, so that makes sense of course if the, your homies are on that company uh but yeah in general i fits well i don't know i, I don't know birdhouse team they have jobs right buck stuff and, and clean and uh ed Dunn. I watched part. He did the. That was tight. That was tight. Yeah, that was sick. That's a really cool, pretty, like, unique spot, too. Yeah. Are you uh are you getting text messages tight. also? Is it is it Yeah, I got two people saying that you sound perfect and I was sounding good but now I'm sounding um, a little choppy. Let me see. Um go ahead and talk for me. Hello. Your, your audio doesn't seem to be So I'm going to do one thing real quick, ladies and gentlemen. So as I I'm actually kick Grant off of the NDI source real quick. Uh, you guys can't see this, but I'm going to put him back in sneakily. It's not sneaky if I tell you about it, but whatever. Uh, and we're going to see if we can get the... We're going to do it mid-show <laughs> because um, it's my show. I do what the hell I want. Thanks. And then we're going to see if we can <laughs> get back up in here. And let's see if he sounds a little better. Grant, go ahead and talk for me a little bit. All right, yeah, so, um, I mean, I guess regardless, we can make this a segue. Okay. You can keep it rolling. Let me see. Okay, you look fine there. It might be just... Go ahead, Grant. Yes. Okay. Hello, okay, Drew. So I don't... What else? Do we need to talk about? Hmm. Uh, let's see what we can wrap up with. Um, well, we also mentioned Spanky talked about his new America shoe. 
uh, it's interesting. Uh, and I don't want, there's not too much detail in it that you could talk about into a shoe. I mean, if you guys have bought America shoes recently, you, you guys have noticed that the, uh, at the bottom, they have like this, they have like this red diamond. And I guess that's, I don't know what they call that. The triangle impact. I think it's a Illuminati symbol. Uh, frankly, I think that they're going to, they're going to go to hell. I'm just playing. So Spanky talked about his America. It's called the Spanky G6. He said it's his fifth shoe. Why you call it the G6? Is this some type of? That's, that's like, their. That's like yeah. The that's their technology, America's right? Technology thing. What was the? Uh, they had. Um, they had a different technology in their shoes. Were they? Was it? Was it? STI. They have STI. That's like their Thank insoles. You. The STI. I remember the good old <laughs> STI. The Styrofoam Technology <laughs> Institute. I don't know what it's called. I don't. Know. I don't know what it stands for either, but I remember the name. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's favorite segment. Uh, are we? Is that going to be will be the ender? Because there, there's one other. Th okay, real quick, Dickie's grayscale, um, VX edit of uh, the whole team. They all got in there actually up on Thrasher, uh, which I was pretty psyched on. They killed it. Uh, personally, stand out to me, obviously, Frankie, Villani, Tom Knox, a couple of dudes we've already mentioned in this show. But, dude, just watching them is always cool to me. Jamie did a slappy front crook on a bank to ledge that I've actually went to that spot recently, and that thing is not easy to skate. It's a very steep bank. Just see him do a little something different. Oh, also, I have to mention Jake. He's somebody that. But I think like like if Jake Johnson footage, there's kind of like people that love Jake Johnson. How did that was it minefield or what? Like I don't even know what got people so hyped on him, but he just seems to have like a special thing where people are so hyped and he has footage come out. So it's cool. He had a few clips in that. But Drew, out to me that I think you would be hyped on. Tom Knox did a no slide. I, I, I just remember a couple years ago someone doing that trick and you were psyched because you were saying you've never seen some. Um, did a super good one in this. So that was tight. And yeah, just like a fun, cool few minute, like three minute edit. Cool, fun to watch. I enjoyed it. That's cool, Dan Berman. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, probably from Jake Hayes, I would assume, because Jake's footage was out in Australia. So I would imagine Dane Berman pulled a VX out and handled that. Grant, I think it's time. It's everybody's favorite All time. All right, let's get it. For everyone's favorite segment, the Grant's Scram. All right, well, this is the third installment of our new our new series, Grant's Graham. This week, Instagram is Deeds doing this Borker. Um, I got hyped on it because I'm, I'm a fan of Deeds. I think his skating so cool, and he always looks like fun and just like yeah, cruising yeah, around. Yeah, I hate that damn mustache, but you know it's grown on me. But you know what's it's, so sad? Oh, you know what's grown, though? You know what's not growing? That mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it still looks it the same. Looks like what was the name of that video part? It was called what? Yeah, he needs to Mustache have more. Rides. Of a, you know, nah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen. You, know, you want a more saying. prominent mustache? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I've seen this. That's a. Yeah. Stair count. And he's a board slider. Like even in his mustache rides, he has crazy board slides in there so i was hyped on it also yep, drew yep, go ahead you're able to swipe swipe yeah um this is <laughs> the, the, deeds, the ad that went deeds, with deeds it. revolution uh, deeds, deeds revolution obviously That's based on dance dance revolution living under a rock <laughs> and there's D's. I don't know. You know what I would like to know is if that's him slamming <laughs> or if that's or, him or, posing. Yeah, probably. For this you know, photo. Like, yeah, I, I don't put a pass in joy. You know, it's probably both. Yeah, it could be. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I thought that was funny. Obviously, cool wordplay. Just it, totally yeah. enjoy ad. It makes sense. And to me, he fits that company. So he's so right. perfect. So I that agree. was rad. It got psyched on that. Yeah, that's my pick for this uh, this week's Grant. installment Appreciate of Grant. That's Grant. And uh, that sounds like a show. Are you ready? You ready doing outro? All right. You oh like me personally? Yeah, you do it. Personally, sure, sure. you do it. All right. Well, that's a wrap on episode one ninety seven. It took two attempts and two. two Frankly, it uh, might take three attempts. I don't know yet. Hopefully, it wasn't that choppy uh, for everyone that watched. Thank you. We're still working on getting all this new stuff going. We're testing it, and hopefully, it sounded all right. But we'll be back next week, regardless, with episode one hundred and ninety eight. And. Later, skaters. Don't forget, iTunes, Spotify, Google Music Play, Alexa, and Stitcher. See you guys later. Bye.